All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Dirt TV. Race number two, round number one of the Blue Street World of Atlas Craftsman Sprint Car Series. Qualifying getting set to come out on, or group qualifying getting set to come up here live on Ultimate Dirt TV. We're going to see the 21 of Tyler Henselman, the 31, Tyson Landis. And also the 29 of Taylor Howe. First lap for Tyler Henselman. 11, 5, 2, 3. 11, 5, 2, 3. Taylor Howe. 11, 8, 5, 2. Tyson Landis. No time, but it was. Well, now there is now 11, 7, 24. That will be his best lap. Taylor Howe with an 11 7 double eight. Now we get set for another car. A couple of cars to come out onto the racetrack. It's going to be the six of Alex Orion's. The 73 of Alan Samuel. And the seven of Brent Rees. So we'll see what these three drivers can do here on qualifying. First lap time is going to go to the number six of Alex Orion's. 12-148, 12-148. Alan Samuel, 11963. Brent Rees with 11850. Alan Sewell, can you better 11.906? Yes, 11.906. And Taylor Howe with an 11.788. Double eight. I think it's set for another group of qualifying. Looks like we're going to see the 93 of Chris Roberts onto the racetrack. We'll see the 37 of Zane Scott and the 22. He actually set quick time in the 360s at Lanier on Tuesday night. Jason Nygaard. So Chris Roberts, Zane Scott, and Jason Nygaard. First lap time for Chris Roberts. 11 6 68. Zane Scott 11.552. Jason Naga 11.793. Chris Roberts 11.557. And Zane Scott to position number one 11.432. And Jason Nygaard up to position number three with an 11.553. So Zane Scott once again putting that number 37. To the top of the speed charts. As you see the 127 of Stephen Hill rolling out onto the racetrack. Behind him is going to be the 77 of Aaron Schaefer. And we're going to see the 005 of Brandon Steele. So it's right until all the cars get past the flags there, and they'll say one and up. Oh, let's go green, boys. And we are green. Once again, group qualifying. The green flag is out. Stephen Hill, Aaron Schaefer, and Brandon Steele. Stephen Hill, first lap time. Ninth quick, 12-0-7-0. Aaron Schaefer, 11-9-1-5. Brandon Steele, 11 7 3, three. Stephen Hill, second quick with an 11 4 6, zero. 
Aaron Schaefer, 11915, his fastest lap, and Brandon Steele, quick time, 11325. So, this time, first cut in cut number five, it's going to be Brad Spidal. In cut number 39, Jimmy Prakash. And in the 9 11, it's going to be Steve Castle. Brad Spidal on the low side of turn number one and two. First lap time for Spidal, 13th quick, 12, 451. Jimmy Prakash. For Cash 12, 228. Steve Castle 11, 8, 7, 4, jumps into the top 10. Brad Spidal can only get 13th quick with a 12, 0, 4, 2. Jimmy Prakash slower on lap number 2. And Steve Castle jumps to position number 8, 11, 7, 3, 5. So that rolls the number 97 of Matthew Henninger. Behind him in caliber 27, Logan Christensen. And in caliber 10, Corey Cosboth. So probably another three groups of qualifying to come up after this one. Logan Christensen in the wall in turns one and two, so it'll be no time on that one, Matthew Henninger. We'll see where he can go. 11th quick, 11, 8, 8, 9. Corey Cosbo jumps into position. Number 11 with 11, 8, 8, 4. What can these guys do? No, Cosbo 11th quick. Henninger, 12th quick. And Logan Christensen with an 11, 9, 0, 5. Position number 13 that is you're watching the 53 Tom Prakash roll out onto the racetrack we're going to see the 838 normally he drives the number 38 machine oh, he's going with the 838 tonight in the UW Motorsports it's going to be Tim Smith And potentially waiting on one more car to come out. No, nope. official said, let's light them up, boys. Let's get on the loud pedal and we go green. Tom Prakash and Tim Smith. Tom Prakash, first lap time is a 12.328. Timothy Smith, quick time! 11, 320! 11, 320! Prakash goes 12, 0, 9, 3. And Tim Smith with an 11, 320. His last lap, 11.333. He still would have been on the front row. So that rolls the number three of Justin Zapp. The 007 of Corey Zatinsky. And in caliber 57, Anthony Lopresto. Probably one of the fastest qualifying groups. Not gonna lie. While you all get on the gas, we'll keep an eye on the 57 of Anthony Lopresto. Justin Zapp, 11.962. Corey Zatinsky, 11.919. Anthony Lopresto, 11.393. Justin Zapp goes to position number nine, 11.639. Corey Zatinsky looking for him.
Don't worry about that. There you go. You go seventh pick. Staring right at me right there with an 11 5 3 1. Anthony Lopresto. Position number one with an 11 2 4 6. I believe this is the last car on the racetrack at the moment. In car number 94, it's going to be Parker Davis. Parker Davis in the final qualifying. So no time taken on that one, but I can tell you that it was a 16670. And I've just actually figured out something with the overlays. 12.188 23rd quick for Parker Davis. So there are two cars, Michael Sheridan and Jesse Hare. Jesse Hare. Oh, Hare. We're going to go here. These drivers should get one lap at the end here. So it looks like it's going to be just the 12 on his own. So this could be just a one lap at the end here. So on board with the number 12 machine of Michael Sheridan. First lap time, 11th quick, 11-7-1-9. 11, 7, 1, 9. 11, 7, 1, 9. And that will do it for qualifying. 25 drivers took a time, which therefore, which means we will have to run a B main. It'll be eight laps in distance. It's going to be Brad Spidal, Tom Prakash, Alex Orion's Parker Davis, Jimmy Prakash. And out of these five drivers, four of them are going to go through to the main event later on tonight. So the B main cars set to roll off on the racetrack as, as I said it'll be eight laps in distance. And they will get the race they will get race control to call the green flag. So they'll run the B main in the qualifying session. And then we'll get set for race number two, 35 laps. In distance. Top four advantage. There you go, top four advantage. You just heard it. Yes, it might sound cruel, but we send one Thank car you, home. Okay. No cautions. We wait for the green flag. Green flag, green flag. Green is out, and we are racing. And well, there's a couple of cars getting a fairly big wheel stand there. You're watching Brad Spinal in the five machine up front. Alex Orion's in that six machine, and here comes Parker Davis on the outside. He, oh, he's upside down. Back up on all fours, and well, Father and Son racing, Jimmy and Tom Prakash. They're on board. With your race leader, Brad Spidal. Watching from out the back of the race now. We'll go back to the normal cameras right now. So Spidal continuing to lead in tonight's B Main. Alex Orion is starting to reel him in. In that number six machine right now, they go into ooh, one and two, no, three and four. Orion's, he's close, but he's just not close enough at the moment. Two more. Oh, white flag, one more. One lap to go, Parker Davis upside down again. 
into turn number three and four, Orion's and Spurn, oh wow, that was close. Oh, what a drive from those two. Third, we're going to do Tom Prakash, Jimmy Prakash will finish home in fourth. Fifth is going to be Parker Davis. And that sets our field for tonight's main event. As we get set to finish up round number one of the Blue Sphere Inc. World of Atlas Craftsman Sprint Car Series. Starting on the pole, cut number 57, Anthony Lopresto. Starting on his outside in the 838, it's going to be Tim Smith. Brandon Steele in the 005 lines up better position number 3 to his outside in the 37 of Zane Scott. Position 5, the 127 of Stephen Hill lines up alongside the 21 of Tyler Henselman. You have Corey Zatinsky and Jason Nygaard, row number 4. Row 5 is going to be Chris Roberts and Justin Zapp. Row number 6 will be Michael Sheridan and Tyson Land. Stephen Castle, Brent Rees. Row 7, Taylor Howe, Corey Cospo, Matthew Henniger, Logan Christensen, Alan Samuel, Aaron Schaefer. And we go to Brad Spidal, Alex Orion, and Jimmy and Tom Prakash. And we are green here, 35 laps on the board. This will be a beauty run now. Tim Smith leads off turn number two. Yellow flag is out. Yellow is out already. And it's the 97 of Matthew Henninger. Matthew Henninger in count number 97. Jason Nygaard as well, already finding himself in pit road in the 22. To the 007 of Corey Zatinsky. Driving in pit road as well. So the lights are out on the pace truck, single file, white flag, lap number 38. Tim Smith has come into the field as soon as the green is out, we're back underway. Couple of UW Motorsports drivers this time, Zane Scott 
He was going to have his hands full, but not only the cars in front, but the cars behind him as well. Oh, the press though, a little bit. I'm not sure whether he hit the cushion wrong there. And who is that? It's going to be the 77. That is Aaron Schaefer in the Mobile One machine. He will find himself in pit road. So already losing three cars, two or three cars on the opening exchange of tonight's race. So at the moment, the best lap is set by the 838 of Tim Smith with a 12.056. The next closest to him is gonna be Chris Roberts with a 12.305. So he's a quarter of a second faster than anybody else on the racetrack. But in saying that, the 838, he's got a clear track in front of him. The lights are out on the pace truck. We get set to go green off turn number four this time by Tim Smith, Anthony Olapresto, Zane Scott, Brandon Steele, Tyler Henselman, Justin Zapp, Stephen Hill, Chris Roberts, Michael Sheridan and Tyson Landis, your top ten. Green flag, green flag. Tim Smith with a good start. The battle is well and truly on hold. We've got a car into the walls. That's the Tinsky in the 007. It was. Somehow we're still back up towards. We're still greeted. What a battle going on right behind Anthony Lopresto. Zane Scott and Brandon Steele. They are duking it out right now for the final podium spot. You've got the 21 of Tyler Hanselman looking for fourth. He got a little bit out of shape. He actually missed the cushion off turn number two. So Tim Smith, your race leader. Oh, Hanselman. Did he catch the wall? Look how close these drivers are going to get. Look at Hanselman. Look how close he got. Wow. It's just amazing at what these drivers can do on the racetrack. And the yellow is out. We try and find what happened. The 53. Tom Prakash. Going to drive it back on pit road. Jimmy Prakash back there as well. Tyler Henselman. Oh, the 21 was putting on the show. One the green. 44. White flag, lap number 44. You just see these cars rolling through turns one and two. Just an awesome sight to see right now. Tim Smith, your race leader. Green's out, green flag, green flag. We are underway. We're going to onboard here with Zane Scott in that 37. Back towards our normal cameras right now. Oh, Anthony Lopresto smacked the wall big time. Robertson still duking it out. Your top three, Smith, Lopresto. Oh, Tim Smith into the wall. Wow. Oh no, he's, he's trying to get off the racetrack. He's doing the best he can. But the rear end is broken on that race car. That is Chris Roberts. The third spot, the battle, is about to heat up in the kitchen right now. Lopresto and Scott. We just see Tim Smith back in pit road. Anthony Lopresto just turned the fastest lap. Of his race with an 11.947. Zane Scott just did an 11.941. Wow, these two guys are really starting to roll the cushion. Three cautions. So, white flag, lap 44. And at the moment, we've just completed 23.
So, essentially, 20 laps left to run here in tonight's main event. Oh no, Red Spinal. Upside down. Oh, Brandon Steele just got him. There's nothing Spinal could do just there. His car is upside down. Wow, what a race between Anthony Lopresto, Zane Scott, duking it out. Anthony Lopresto's best lap time, 11.865. How about Tyson Landis? 11.889. He's back there in 14th place. He's trying to come through the field. A lot of these drivers in the 12 second bracket, there's only a handful of drivers that are inside the 11 second. One the green guys, tighten up. Single foul, white flag, lap 47. 47, there we have it. So Lopresto. Green flag, green flag. We'll get us back underway. Zane Scott, Chris Roberts as well. Brandon Steele, and immediately we have a yellow. And how about Michael Sheridan? In the 12 machine. He's up to position number six. And just trying to think of where he started from. Okay, so we start at 11. Brendan Reese from 14 up to position 5. Alex Orion's from the B main inside of a top 10 as we speak. Alright, so we're going to go on board with Chris Roberts on this restart. He's behind the 37, the Buffalo Wild Wings of Zane Scott and your race lead in the UW, UW Motorsports, Colby Zyphane's Ultimate Dirt TV, number 57 of Anthony Lopresto. We're getting set to go back to green flag racing. The green is out. And we're back underway here at Limerland. Robert's going to go to the low side. And another early yellow flag. I'm just trying to trying to find out who was the reason for that caution. So, just looking at, uh, oh, everything's going all good at the moment. Could have been Logan Christensen in that 27 machine getting set to go back to green flag racing right now six caution completed of the night green flag green flag white flag at lap 53 so which means we're probably about halfway home at this, in this state, stage of the race right now Oh, here comes the 7. He gets a little bit out of shape. Now Brandon Steele on the 005. Work on the top side right now. Trying to get around the outside of Chris Roberts. Slow! Zane Scott. All sorts of out of shape. He's going to keep it on the bottom side. Through the middle. Roberts trying to work the outside. Nearly three wide. Into turns three and four. Presto carefully rides the cushion, as does Brandon Steele. 
deal around the outside of Roberts. Wow, picks up the front end. Zane Scott into the wall, loses one spot. You know he's going back to the cushion, still on the inside. And wow, Zane Scott just drove around the outside of Chris Roberts, back for second. And the 37, he is a man on a mission. Oh, yellow is out. I didn't see the three slowing in pit road. Fact, I'm not sure on that one. This is the portion number seven. So we should be on white flag at lap 56. As the lights should go out this time by. On the green guys, tighten up, single foul, white flag, lap 56. Ah, oh, white flag. Okay, white flag will be lap 57. White flag 57, so we're not going green this time by. The 27 of Logan Christensen coming back out onto the racetrack. So we've got 13 cars on the lead lap still. Post truck will exit on the entry into turn number three. In fact, in the middle of turn number three and four, I should say. Green's out, green flag. So the white flag on lap 57, which happens to be your race leader's number, Anthony Lopresto. Whoa, look at Brandon Still. He got a monstrous of a run. Scott trying to go to the bottom and trying to slide up in front of Lepresto. Oh, there's contact between Scott and Roberts. That gives Brandon Steele. Stephen Hill around the outside. Second and third. Roberts fighting back through the middle. Whoa, Hill. So that's Sheridan in the 12. Michael Sheridan. Now here comes Zane Scott. Oh, there's contact between Sheridan and Roberts. Sheridan got out of the gas big time. And look who's up here right now. Steve Castle, Zane Scott making his charge. Stephen Hill literally trying to knock the fence down in turn number three and four. What a battle this is right now. Five to go. Five laps to run for your race leader, Steve Castle, a little bit out of shape. Alan Samoa, who we haven't really seen too much. Stephen Hill, trying to break into your top three. Four to run. Lopresto, he is gone. Brandon Steele, but Lopresto is in traffic right now. Steele, a little bit out of shape. Zane Scott in third. Fourth is Stephen Hill. And he is starting to catch the 37. He was a little bit slower on the previous lap, but whoa, look at Brandon Steele, 11 7 0 Oh, no! Speaking of Brandon Steele, he's gone upside down with two laps left to run. iRacing Grid sends him flying. Wow, the 005. 11 7 0 4. The fastest lap of the race so far. He done it with three to go. And unfortunately, he finds himself on pit road after climbing the outside wall. And doesn't this spice things up just a little bit more? Yeah, the no worries, man. 57 of Anthony Lopresto. Leads the next two cars, Corey Cosboth and Brad Spidle, yes, are sir. both a lap down. The 37 of Zane Scott is going to be the fourth car in line. Then Stephen Hill, Chris Roberts, Alan Samuel, your top five. And Samuel, he's come out of nowhere as well. 
Two to go. Two to go. It's a green white checker. We're going to keep an eye. We know Lopresto, he's just going to check out Green's from out. the Green field. Flag. Flag. That's the lap car. Look how, look at that courtesy right there. They both go to the low side. Down the back straight away for the penultimate time in the three and four. The white flag is out right now. One to one. Has Zane Scott got anything for Lopresto? He's caught up to him. He's going to go in the three and four with a slide jump. Keep racing. Oh, no. Oh, there's carnage. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Anthony Lopresto, Michael Sheridan, and Zane Scott. Nice one, Anthony. Wow. Sheridan we don't have, but Zane Scott we do. Wow, what a finish. The 57. Anthony Lopresto. Parks the UW Motorsports Lopresto Racing Ultimate Dirt TV in Victory Lane for the second time this week. What a finish that was. That was an absolute belter of a race. Hang on, we're not going green. And looks like we don't have first and second, so. Once again, we'll talk to the driver of the 37 of Zane Scott. And what well, Zane? Well, you left it all on the line out there in that last corner. Yeah, it, uh, I tried to make the move there, and Anthony, I thought I could have it. Uh, and the car just didn't stick. Track super slick, and I came up in front of all those guys. Uh, I feel pretty bad about them. I just want to apologize to all of them. And you guys were sort of rolling that cushion um, on the top side of the racetrack. What was it? How was the cushion on this race compared to the first race? Uh, in this race, the, the cushion was a lot. I think it, it built up more. Um, it was against the wall a little bit. Um, you, you add in the factor of the night. It, it was hard to run. Um, it was super fast, hard to run. Um, a couple of times there, it bit me, and uh, it bit me pretty bad. Well, once again, uh, I'm sure you got uh, a couple of people to thank. Yep, uh, Brady Rarick for the paint scheme of Village Pizza House. They're going to come on board. Uh, hopefully, we get that paint scheme going. Uh, and my dad for teaching me everything I know about sprint cars and how to drive them. Hang on, we're not going. All right, Zane Scott comes home in a third place. Yeah, tonight we don't have Michael Sheridan or Anthony Lopresto, so it's unfortunate. But it's a part of racing sometimes. So you just heard from Zane Scott who did pick up a second in the first race and picks up a third here in race number two in an eventful night, to say the least. Hang on, we're not going green. And let's just say the fastest lap the race went to the, the 005 of Brandon Steele, 11.704. But unfortunately for Brandon, he put it up into the fence and went upside down with two or three to run. And that set us up for a Lopresto, Sheridan, and Scott finale. It was an absolute belter of a night, that's to say yeah, the we're least. Not going green. You've, been, you've been watching the Blue Sphere Inc. World of Outlaws Craftsman Sprint Car Series race number two, round number one of the Dirty Old Bastards League tonight at Lima Land. And on behalf of everyone here at Ultimate Dirt TV, we say good night. We'll see you next Tuesday night for the 360 Sprint Car League, once again presented by Blue Sphere. I'm not sure what track we're at next week, but keep an eye on the Ultimate Dirt TV Facebook page and also the Dirty Old Bastards. Make sure you hit the like button on both those pages. And also, uh, go out and show your support for the sponsors as well. Blue Sphere, you can like them on Facebook. So on behalf of everyone here at Ultimate Dirt TV, my name's Brett Wheeler saying good night. We'll see you next week.